Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Pioneer Joby Aviation, Inc. NICE, Joby, has made first delivery of aircraft to Edwards Air Force Base. Joby Aviation has made its first EV toll delivery. Six months ahead of the scheduled delivery date, Edwards Air Force Base will use the aircraft for cargo and passenger transportation. A Joby announcement says that both Joby and U.S. Air Force personnel will operate the aircraft, and NASA will also use the aircraft for research. Joby's aircraft, which has already begun flying at Edwards AFB, is the first electric air taxi to be stationed on a U.S military base and is believed to be the first delivery of an electric air taxi in the U.S. as part of Joby's $131 million AFWorks Agility Prime contract with the U.S. Air Force. Joby's current and previously completed work with the Department of Defense represents a total potential contract value of $163 million, the largest in the industry. The Agility Prime contract calls for the delivery of up to nine aircraft. Joby plans to deliver the second in early 2024. Joby Aircraft at Edwards Air Force Base, the U.S. manufactured Joby VTOL, will be stationed at Edwards for at least a year, utilizing the charging and ground support infrastructure provided by Joby. The installation will provide critical data to move the advanced aircraft sector forward. The U.S. Air Force and Joby will conduct joint flight testing and operations to demonstrate the aircraft's capabilities in realistic mission settings. On-base operations will also include the training of Air Force pilots and aircraft maintenance crews, which will provide the DoD with valuable insight into the performance of EV toll aircraft and will give Joby on the ground operational and training experience as the company prepares for the launch of commercial passenger service in 2025 says the Joby announcement. We're proud to join the ranks of revolutionary aircraft that first demonstrated their capabilities at Edwards Air Force Base, including the first American jet fighter, the first supersonic aircraft, and many others that have pushed the boundaries of aviation technology, said Jobin Bivert, founder and CEO of Joby. The long-standing support of the DOD and NASA has been critical to the rapid development of electric aviation and EV toll aircraft and demonstrates how successful public-private partnerships can bring new technology to life at speed. Their work will have profound implications for continued American leadership in both commercial and defense aerospace technology, he added. Agility Prime's stated objective in 2020 was to work towards an operational capability for transformative vertical lift in the DoD by 2023. The arrival of Joby's aircraft at Edwards AFB is an important step towards achieving this objective, said Carl Elliott Lee, AFWorks Director and Chief Commercialization Officer for the Department of the Air Force. The delivery of this first EV toll aircraft is the start of a new chapter in Edwards' rich aerospace history, notes Match Philip Woodhull, Director, Emerging Technologies Integrated Test Force. This partners private industry with the 412th Test Wing's world-renowned test management execution. We are excited to agilely test, experiment with, and evaluate this new technology for potential future national defense applications. In partnership with the U.S. Air Force's AFWorks program, NASA will also be supporting this testing at Edwards Air Force Base with NASA's pilots researchers, and equipment as part of their commitment to advancing the advanced air mobility industry as a whole. For the benefit of all, NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center is located on Edwards Air Force Base and has a long history of supporting important technological milestones in aviation and space supersonic and hypersonic flight, digital fly-by-wire control systems, and the space shuttles. NASA's participation in the Joby and AFWorks project will provide our researchers with hands-on experience with a representative EV toll vehicle, concentrated on how these types of aircraft could fit into the national airspace for everyday use, that will inform NASA's effort in supporting the entire EV toll industry, said NASA research pilot Wayne Ringelbird. The research will include a focus on handling qualities evaluation tools, autonomy, and airspace integration which is all needed research to push the industry forward. With a range of up to 100 miles plus energy reserves and a top speed of 200 miles per hour, the Joby aircraft is capable of transporting a pilot and four passengers quickly and quietly with zero operating emissions.